Good morning, folks. Today, Rosetta descends down onto Comet 67P to spend eternity on the rock. They're recapping that at the ESA today. Meanwhile, at the observers, things are about to shift focus from the magnetic field above our heads to the atmosphere and the ground beneath our feet. We begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the large dark coronal holes are finally making their way towards the right side to turn off, utterly massive, and ended up ramping the solar wind speed to nearly a thousand kilometers per second at one point yesterday. It was almost certainly the peak of the solar wind stream intensity, although Earth's magnetic field had already begun to fight back. Reverberation storms could happen today. Incoming, top left, is the plasma filament. By tonight, he'll have crept onto Earth-facing longitudes as an eruption threat. The other note is bottom right. You'll remember a bright active region just turned out of view. You can see the remnant magnetism, while the rest of the disk shows nothing more than surface magnetism. Well, since the sunspot was no longer facing Earth, he decided to fire. This makes longitudinal quake coupling a big potential for the weekend, just as those magnetic storms which halted the quake watch begin to fade away. And they should also coincide nicely with the end magnetism of this coronal hole opening. That makes a good bit of our factors in play over the coming days. Interesting link here on how they are set to better predict volcanic activity with new crustal weakness analysis. Interesting topic. Also this, we've got Fermi noting the first gamma binary located outside our galaxy. It's complementing the four like it already found on the galactic plane. Very much like the X-ray forecast story except that these are much more massive and producing even higher energies. Our top story today, however, is the rate of stellar encounters set for our solar system and further constraints on Planet 9. Apparently, stellar interactions can be expected every few million years, and the last one was only 70,000 years ago. That was Shoal's star. It was the topic of our Pittsburgh presentation last year called A Planet Crossed, and it is the best actual visible star system candidate that could account for the past stories of a crossing planet in the sky. They also say Planet 9 is very, very, very far away and a good bit bigger than Earth. Stormwatch. Caribbean is seeing Matthew develop into a major hurricane. It's happening quickly. Eyes go immediately north. We're also watching west of Guam where the next system is going to shift up towards Japan. Hopefully it bends as quickly as possible. We'll have a deeper look episode coming for you later today. Earthquake watch expected to finally begin this weekend when the solar storm conditions subside. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.